I wanted to try to help the team as much and do whatever I can. So the opportunity gave me something that I always dream about to do. And I couldn't say no to being a goalkeeper for one minute. Hey guys, it's Ash from Futbolita here. I hope you guys have an amazing year ahead of you all. You know, in recent weeks, I got ton and ton of messages and requests from you guys to feature as well as interview this specific player, especially after Singapore's recent run at the Suzuki Cup. And today, I'm really excited to share with you guys an interview I had with this player, of course. He recently turned out for goal in Singapore. That's a hint. Uh, he also recently signed a new deal with a club in Thailand. That's another hint. I think you guys got some names already in your head. But that's right, guys. I'm talking, of course, about Singapore wonder kid, Exan Fandi. He managed to speak to us as well uh, while he was here. So I hope that you guys enjoy this interview and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, we are joined now by Iksan Fandi, you know, our national player. And of course, I would say um, for a minute there, he was a goalkeeper as well. So how are you, Iks? Oh my God, it's so nice to see you. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You know, just... Getting back to normal ways after the long AFC bubble, eh, AFF bubble, yeah. So have you been enjoying your your break, you know, uh, your short break? I see that you're with your girlfriend and she's here in town, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, we've just been going out a little bit and just enjoying some time with her and my family and meeting up with some old friends as well, yeah. Awesome, you know, I hope that you guys, you know, are enjoying your time here in Singapore. But Nick, firstly, I want to say congrats on your move to BG. I mean, congrats on that, a massive one. Uh, you know, can you talk me through, you know, a bit about that? Um, how excited are you to start playing? Uh, I'm really excited, you know. Uh, BJ is a big club in Thailand. And what more, my brother is playing there as well. So it's going to be, I think it's going to help me with, the, with adapting to the new culture. Totally different from uh, Norway. I've been there for three years. Uh, so I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be a new challenge. And, you know, Thai League is, is really competitive as well. So... You know, I have to step up, be more consistent and keep training hard to, you know, uh, secure a spot in the first 11. And yeah, you know, my aim is to score a lot of goals and try to help the team as much as I can. Yeah, I mean, uh, Sai was telling me all about your adventures, uh, actually, um, about, <laughs> you know, at the, at the recent AFF. And, and I'm sure you saw in the show as well, he, he was telling me that one of your bucket lists was to be a goalkeeper. You know, when I'm sure Singaporeans all saw that and we were all like, everyone's on the same page as me. I mean, take me through like the emotions, you know, of, of, of that game for you. Yeah, the whole game was crazy, you know. From the moment Shadan scored, you know, everybody, I think the whole of Singapore had a feeling, yes, we're going through. But, you know, in football, anything can happen. You know, we need to be focused throughout the 120 minutes plus plus. Yeah. Uh, but it is what it is. It happened already. Um but the whole experience, of course, it would it would only help us grow and and learn for the next one and then things to do. And our hunger now, I think, is even more. We're more hungrier uh, for the next uh, edition of the AFF. And yeah, it was really, a, I would say, emotional. You know, I think during the uh, second half, sorry, the extra time in the second part of the extra time, I was already like before they blow the whistle to kick the ball, I was almost close to crying already because of the emotions I was feeling. Uh, but yeah, this is the things that you need to control control within and stay focused throughout and keep your head in the game because that's the most important. Yeah, yeah. So you were really focused and, and I'm think, I think many Singaporeans are very proud of you and the team. Uh, but again, back to the goalkeeper uh, thing, you know, you took the initiative and, and you're still a very young player. So X, you know, I think that required a lot of, I would say, bravery to step up to the plate. But was it something instinctively that you thought, I have to do this, you know, I'm going to step up now? Because I saw that, you know, that in you as well. Yeah, I think so. I was all the way up top, as you know. And once I saw Hassan get a red card, my first instinct is me. Who else is going to go? Like, I was thinking, you know, <laughs> when I was younger and like when, I, when I'm in training and stuff, and even in Yarf and stuff, I always joke that I'm the third choice goalkeeper. <laughs> Hey, I'm third choice goalkeeper, third choice goalkeeper. Even if I never train or anything, I just want to, uh, some sort of help. And when I saw Hassan got I was like, nah, we're all, you know we're already down, and I don't know. I just have an opportunity to do something to, so I just wanted to be the goalkeeper. And I look at coach and I said, me, I go. And then he was like, yeah, 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 you go. <laughs> and yeah, even that he trusts me to be goalkeeper. So. <laughs> emotional and really in the game that I wanted to do anything and everything to win even if it's 
sacrificing me up top maybe we could have got like one goal in that one minute but I wanted to try to help the team as much and do whatever I can so the opportunity gave me something that I always dream about to do and then I couldn't say no to being a goalkeeper for one minute <laughs> Yeah, that's what Asai says. He wanted you to play for a couple more minutes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know? To be honest, when I stepped in the goal, uh, I was really hoping, at that time already, I was just hoping, please, this top, uh, this, uh, the guy who's going to take a free kick to put it top bins yep. so I can save. So I can, so I can <laughs> save. Yeah. He gave it straight to my hand, so I gave a easy catch, but the distribution after that wasn't so good. Lah. The volume. <laughs> It's okay, lah. I'm sure you know you have more experience in the years to come. But overall, X, um, how are you feeling uh, about the whole tournament, your performance? You know, you scored many goals, and, and I think you know the first couple of games. You know, many Singaporeans saw you, and 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 you did, I think, pretty well as well. But personally, how how do you feel? Uh, I think it's a bit of mix for me because I started out with a bang with two goals, so I had all the confidence in the world. But then the next three games, it was a little bit hard because, you know. Facing different opponents, they come. We have to come differently, and I didn't. I think everybody knows I wasn't involved as much in the next three group stages of the group stage matches, so it was hard to find the goal again, and that put me a bit down because I already put my mind to be top scorer and help the team as much as I can. But at the end of the day, the three points was the most important, so it didn't really matter. But as a striker, I need the goals, you know, to feed to feed the hunger and uh, drive. Uh, overall, I feel I played, I think I played well. Of course, there's many areas to improve on, but overall, I think I did well for the team and I think I helped the team a lot and I want to say thank you to Coach Tatsuma for really uh, trusting in my abilities and you know giving me that confidence that I need after coming back from EF, which I didn't play so many games, so I really needed that boost. And from the team as well, uh, I think I want to shout out uh, Amy Recha because, you know, he's either he's older than me and stuff, I'm starting in front of him. In training and um, games before games, he really come to me and we talk about what we can do and then he always push me and I really, like, I, f- I feel that one because he's older than me and he wants to take my spot uh, and he's, like, pushing me and he's doing well himself for the uh, S-League season. So that one, I, w- I really appreciate that from Amy. Yeah, like, truly. It's, it's amazing, you know, um, even though he's, he's, he's playing the same position as you. I um, mean, you know, how was the bonding like, you know, because um, Sai told me that when he checked out the hotel, he felt really sad and depressed. Uh, he was missing you guys already. So, is it like, I'm sure you, you spend so much time every day together. I mean, how was the, the bonding like? Because it really felt to me that you guys were very close, you know, this, uh, for this campaign. Yeah, I think the bubble made us even closer. You know, we see each other like three weeks plus and we have like a routine already, like, you know, uh, lunch and dinner sometimes we order food together eat in a room together makan together <laughs> you know, go training come back there's nothing much to do so we always have to be together playing you know uno and cards and yeah playing playstation or something so it's a lot of bonding going on in the team and and they brought in a ping pong table so we had a lot of fun with that it was uh, yeah it was really good it was, the bond was really good the chemistry was really good the team was really happy and uh, the vibe was really good. It was just nice, you know, for the FF. So we need that more of that coming. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Um. And you know, you're going to BG. So so what's the plan now? That's preseason coming up, right? And then you start playing with for them as well when the Thai league kicks off. Yeah, but Thai league is now in the mid season, if I'm not wrong. So yes. I won't have proper preseason, but this um six months till the end of season, I think I would take it as a. I will try to adapt as fast as I can so I can gel into the team as quick as possible and learn how the team wants to play and how they would like to use me and, of course, the culture, the people and the, just the football in general. As you know, they play a high tempo, a lot of passing and so I need to get used to it and also very physical and fit players. So, yeah, I will use this quick time to quickly adapt and uh, yeah, make changes, yeah. And lastly, Ix, I want to ask, um, do you have any words for the fans out there? Because, you know, this time the fans really came out and and uh, really are going behind you. And I'm sure you know, Ixan, um, after the last campaign, you're, you have like probably like 100k or 200k more followers <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, the fans, oh, the fans were amazing, especially the last. I, I think 
what we gave the fans, the Singapore fans, was just a new hope for Singapore football. I'm not even kidding. Like when I go out now, people are saying like big respect, Iksan, y'all did well, you know, congratulations. Just today I was in town for a while and I would come, maybe like 20 people come up to me and say congratulations and big respect and tell your team that uh, they did really well. And, you know, now we believe in Singapore football and we have hope and we can't wait for the next one. Uh, so I, that really hit, hits home a bit because before that, we, we didn't really get this or I didn't get this kind of comments. So I think the fans was amazing and, you know, we couldn't have made it that far without them. And I just want to say for the next editions or friendly games or whatever tournaments, we, be it under 23 or 18 or women's team, um, come and support us and you see the progress that the boys are making already. So believe in us and uh, we will do our best always when we're on the pitch to, to uh, make the nation proud. Yeah. Oh, and wow. the followers, yeah, that's it's from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're viral on TikTok. I'm sure you saw, right? All that. I saw friends are spamming me with like Indonesian <laughs> TikTok and about being a goalkeeper and stuff like that. Oh, but it's cool though. All, all, it's all love, like X, to be honest. It's all love. It's all good, right? You know? Yeah, so... it's all good. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Ix, for taking time with me. You know, I know that you're very busy I, I, and I know that you probably have a lot of things to do now. So I just wish you all the best for your upcoming season. Thank you, Ash. Thanks for having me. No, no problem. You can spare time to, you know, say a few words for the fans and for you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ix, and take care. Take care, Ash. See you. Take care. See you.